The LA Chargers make another smart addition, this time to the coaching staff, and I think it's it's going to be really good. We're Detroit Lions fans, and this kind of is following the Detroit Lions model when it comes to coaching staff. So they're going to add another former player, and it's not necessarily to the coaching staff. We'll get into that here in just a second. So remember, the um, Harbaugh has a habit of hiring former players to his coaching staff. Right now, there's Navarro Bowman as the linebackers coach and the former Chargers center Nick Hartwick is an assistant offensive line coach and so now what they did was they added Delaney Walker remember him really good tight end Titans 49ers and he is going to be part of the coaching staff for training camp so here's what's interesting he's not going to be a full-time coach on the Chargers staff and will be helping out during training camp so you don't really ever see that. But the reason I like that is because you're going to bring in a former player to be around these guys, see how pro is supposed to act, a really good player, tight end focused. It's like, oh, okay. Kind of interesting. So the Chargers are getting a long time tight end with multiple time pro bowler. Walker wasn't just a pass catching threat. He could do it all on offense and is certainly going to have a positive impact on tight ends in the roster. The tight end position is one of the weakest on the Chargers roster. Will Disley is a good blocker, but not a pass catching threat. Hayden Hurst is a talented pass catching threat, but has injury concerns. Your third stringer is a talented red zone option, but hasn't really put it all together. So, it feels like Jim Harbaugh says, okay, we, what we have to do here is find a way to bring in some somebody from the outside to help these guys. And I think it's a great way to do it. You're not going to hire him as like your actual position coach, but it's like, hey, training camp, let's work with these guys. Let's bring in a guy that was just in the NFL that can really help them. I think it's, I think it's great. So I think it's a smart addition to bring him in for training camp. And it's kind of interesting. We'll kind of see how it goes. And and here's another big part. Walker has played in Roman's offense and can be a direct help in that regard. So as they're putting in a new offense in training camp, he's already done it and kind of knows. I mean, there's just so many little things that I think it's it's really important, right? It's like, oh, you want to lead with your right foot and you want your right foot to go out wider than that. You, you know, I mean, there's so many things like that. And it's just, it's really helpful. And I, I don't think it can hurt. Next thing, man, I have just been blown away by it the new training facility. I don't know if you've seen some of the pictures, some of the things, but the chargers are actually going to open it up to fans for two days, July 13th and 14th. So man, if you're in LA, if you, if you're in San Diego, it doesn't really matter. See if you can get there to this. It's crazy. So it's gonna be open to the public, like an open house. So fans will have the opportunity to tourist various areas of the first level of the building, lobby, press conference, locker room, the field, like what the heck so let me know in the comments if you're going to this if you go what it's like i mean if you're trying to go it's just like save the art 2024 nfl practice facility in la palm trees man come on that's cool okay now let's look at the 2024 playoff odds for the chargers and what the playoff models are saying and they're just kind of looking at you know pro football uh, or football power index. I mean, there's just things you, you can look at. So the Chargers rank 18th in the FBI rankings and are projected to finish with, I mean, what, nine wins, right? Like nine wins. This projection give the Chargers just under a 50% chance of making the playoffs. It appears the Bolts have much more of a coin flip chance of making the playoffs than fans realize. I wouldn't say that. I think fans realize that. It's like, man, look, it's first year Jim Harbaugh. We're in a division with the Chiefs. We got like kind of the sneaky Raiders. We got the unknown Broncos. Like, I don't know. It's, it could be, it's going to be like this. It's going to be kind of coin flippy. And I think that's kind of how the games are going to go, which is fine. And that's what you want if you're a Chargers fan. The last couple of years is just like either just heartbreak losses or just shootouts where they don't go your way or they do go your way. And it's exciting. But it's like, no, this is going to be more right down to the end. I, I think that's going to be awesome. The Kansas City Chiefs are obviously the biggest hurdle the Chargers have to overcome. But barring any freak injuries, the AFC West are the Chiefs to lose, at least for the 2024 season. 
I can't argue that back to back Super Bowl champs. Kansas City isn't a reasonable competitor for an AFC playoff spot as there are other fringe playoff teams that, that the Chargers should be concerned with instead. Absolutely. So if you look at those, who those would be Buffalo Bills. The Bills are an interesting team. They've got a really good quarterback, but they kind of they're up and down. Ultimately, they're up, right? Like they're a good team. Miami Dolphins, man, they just kind of are always there. And especially with Tua playing good, but not great. They've got weapons. Miami's always a team that you're just like, yep, they'll be right in the mix. New York Jets. Oh man, that's a good one. And this is, I love this exercise here with 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 this article because I think you look at your team. Everyone does it in the NFL. You look at your team and go, we're good. It's like, well, what about these other teams, right? Everyone's looking at their own team thinking, yeah, we're, we're good. We're, we'll be, well, the Jets are thinking that like, man, Aaron Rodgers, health, let's go. It's New York. It's going to be wild. A lot of, who knows? It's a long season. Aaron Rodgers, he'll be getting weird at some point. Cincinnati Bengals, man, come on. They're, they're a really good team, but just lost Joe Burrow. Cleveland Browns are good. Jacksonville Jags. So the AFC is deep, and there's these fringe teams that are like that you will be competing with. So you may not play them, but these are the teams that you would be fighting to get in with. If it was not for an easy schedule, the answer to this question would be seem easy. As great as Harbaugh is, this is a multi-year process, and expecting the Chargers to win an extra six games in 2024 is a bit extreme. I totally agree. This is an 8-9 win team that needs at least 10 games to make the playoffs in a loaded AFC. All it takes is one or two good breaks for that to happen, but it's far from being a guarantee. So this article basically is saying, I don't think it's going to happen. I agree with that, but you can still win nine games, eight, nine games. And I think you just miss out on the playoffs. That would be such a successful season. I mean, and, and it's not just that you, the wins and losses is how you play, how the team's kind of coming together, the core of it, all those things mean more than the wins and losses in this first Jim Harbaugh season. So I wouldn't be like overly bent out of shape on that. You know what I mean? Like I think the, I think the Chargers are going to be much better competitive. Look, look more like a football team, all those things. I think that's really good. So let me know your thoughts in the comments again. Um, love you would subscribe. We're on our way to 10,000 subs. So if you've watched a few videos by now, especially this video in July, all the way to the end, and you're not subscribed, just hit that subscribe button and we will see all of you on the next one.